Welcome to Inside Sim Racing, I'm Tom Hackey. So we recently got NASCAR 2011, the game, in our studios and started the process of reviewing it. Now the game includes all 23 NASCAR Sprint Cup tracks and the 43 drivers in the series. Unfortunately, in its current version, the game is full of bugs that make it honestly almost too frustrating to play and would really kill its scores if we were to review it right now. We're all a bit disappointed uh, about how rushed the release of this game feels, and it honestly feels like we're beta testing this game. Thankfully, Utechnics is all over the bugs and the problems, and has a current patch progress thread in their forums that is being constantly updated. They're even adding support for the Fnatic wheels and the T500 RS, which is awesome. So, we're going to let this game get to a point where it's really ready to be reviewed before we review it just like we did with F1 2010, GT5, and even iRacing back in the day. So you're welcome, you Technics. So instead of reviewing it, let me just give you a first look and a little bit of what I like and what I don't like about the game. I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm really liking this game a lot. The physics are just about as good as you could ever hope for on a console. Uh, the feeling of grip is a little bit diminished, meaning if you pass the line of traction and you're trying to catch the car, it's a little harder to catch than it would be. But other than that, it feels great. Something that adds to the overall feel and really makes it feel great is the force feedback. The force feedback in this game is awesome. You can feel the change in banking on the track. You can feel the tires loading and unloading uh, grip wise. You can even feel it when you damage the car. So that is great. And that brings us to damage. Uh, visually, the damage is a little rough. There's some anti-aliasing problems, but other than that, the damage is great. You can rip holes in body panels and see the parts underneath. You can uh, rip wheels off, you can flatten tires, you can bend suspension. So the damage is there, it's looking really good. You can also mechanically damage the engine, but not the transmission, but that seems to be fine because most online players prefer automatic transmission anyway, it seems. A cool thing, this game allows you to custom paint your car and share those custom paint jobs online. So you get to race with your custom paint job. I love that. And it also has a cool photo mode for all you photo mode lovers out there, like me. Uh, that includes some cool blur effects and vignetting, so that's awesome. Tania's extensive lineup of radio-controlled vehicles provides hobbyists with the joy of running exact replicas of their favorite car, tank, or off-road vehicle. Another attraction of these vehicles is their use of high-grade materials such as nylon resin, carbon fiber, and polycarbonate. With precise mechanical systems, the maintenance and adjustment of the various components as well as performance upgrading with optional parts allows for truly competitive racing. For more information about Tamiya, visit us at www.tamiyausa.com. There's also a couple of really small things that they've included that really tend to improve the experience of the game for me. One of those things, cool menu music. They have ZZ Top in there. And yeah, it's probably more expensive to get the rights for that, but it, it improves it for you. It makes it fun. The second thing, and all developers, please listen to this, they have fun trivia during loading screens. That's not hard. That's easy to do. And it's so much fun. It's so much better than looking at a flashing logo, Gran Turismo. So please, everybody include that because it's so much better. It makes the time pass. It's great. A negative. This game is not available in Europe. So mm, that's a big one. I know a lot of people have been put off by that and I would imagine why. I mean, I can see that that's frustrating and I'd probably be mad too. Uh, the PS3 is region free though. So find a copy online for your PS3 and that's the way to get it over there. And the other thing is, I think that uh, the multiplayer options should be a little more beefy. Um, right now it's kind of random, you don't have a lobby, you can't see what tracks are running or how many laps. You just say, hey, I want to race, and it throws you into a track that somebody else has created. So you really don't know what you're getting into, um, so you get a lot of in and out of server kind of thing. But here's the deal, this is a very good feeling online multiplayer with up to 16 people, console, sim and that that's a huge win in my book if you're looking for like the nascar version of f1 2010 minus all the input lag this is it you technics did it it's awesome and again once they get this title patched and out of its release beta is what i'm calling it 
um, it, we're gonna review it again. We're gonna give it the thorough going over and really tell you what's up. So I would be looking forward to this title if I were you. It's it's really good feeling. And if you're in Europe, I don't know, get a PS3 copy or send some letters to Activision. Uh, they are the publisher and I guess they're responsible for that. A little weird too, since they hired Richard Towler from England to test the game. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Tom Hackey and I will see you on the full review. And for those of you interested, here's a quick preview of all 23 tracks. Promotional consideration provided by iRacing.com, the ultimate place to race online. The world's finest model manufacturer and leader in RC cars, trucks, and tanks. Go to TamiyaUSA.com. And GamePod, the choice of champions. Go to GamePod.co.uk.